first of all, congratulations for your debut film. Right, so uh, M Cream is actually a story about the new generation in India today and uh, we're very excited to be releasing the film in India on the 22nd of July. Uh, the film has a wonderful and very fresh cast and um, we had a wonderful time shooting it. It's a road movie, um, it's also India's first stoner movie so that's very exciting. Ha, so, um, Basically, Himachal mein gaon hai. There's a village called uh, Malana, uh, and M cream is a very uh, famous um, and a very notorious drug from that village, uh, which is very popular with the young people and the youth of um, of India today. Uh, and so, the story is about these four friends who go on this road trip uh, in search of M cream. No, no, I'm actually I'm the director of the film, writer and director, and ha, the cast. Yeah. Right, right, right. So in this film, there are some new actors like Maatsha, Ira Dube, theatre actors and film actors. And some low-priya actors like Tom Olta, Barry John, Barry John is Shah Rukh Khan's guru and a very famous theatre and acting coach. And Lushan Dube is a theatre actress and a thespian. And it's a very fresh cast, very dynamic cast. Basically, Imad and Ira Dubey are the two leads along with Aurithar Ghosh and Raghav Chanana. No, so this is actually a special screening for cast and crew and their friends and family. So, of course, we're very excited to have some very distinguished actors and people from the industry here today. So, yeah, a bit excited, a bit nervous. When you नहीं जैसे इमाद के मदर फादर ऑफ कोर्स नसीरुद्दीन शाह रत्ना पाठक शाह एक्सपेक्टेड देन लोके लोकेशन में अच्छा अच्छा तो बेसिकली पहला स्केड्यूल हमने दिल्ली में शूट किया था और उसके बाद हमने हिमाचल प्रदेश में पार्वती वैली व्हिच इज इन्फ्लुएंस फॉर इट्स हैश ग्रोइंग एंड एंड द लाइफस्टाइल दैट ऑफ क धर्मशाला में शूट किया पूरे हिमाचल में एक्चुअली और ऐसे-ऐसे इतने ब्यूटीफुल लोकेशंस हैं मैं किसी से कह रहा था कि बॉलीवुड कितने प्रोड्यूसर्स और डायरेक्टर्स हैं जो विदेश आई मीन द फर्स्ट चॉइस इज एक्चुअली टू शूट अब्रॉड जैसे स्विट्जरलैंड में शूट करते हैं ऑस्ट्रेलिया और हमारे फिल्म में आई थिंक फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वी कैप्चर सम ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल प्लेसेस जब आप फिल्म देखेंगे आपको यकीन नहीं होगा कि दिस इज एक्चुअली इंडिया आई मीन इट्स सो ब्यूटीफुल एंड इट्स सो इट्स इट्स जस्ट अमेजिंग no, no, we're lucky also actually what happened, it's a bit interesting because this film has actually gone to many film festivals. So this was the premiere of Rhode Island where it was a great feature film award for the best film award for the best film award. So we were very fortunate and this film has been a lot of international film festivals in international film festivals and it's a lot of acclaimed and appreciated. We have won 10 awards, the film has been screened across the US in New York, in California, in Colorado, or Europe may be in many locations and places such as in the UK, Ireland, France, Germany, Spain. And for the first time, the film will be coming to India. So we're very excited about that. And for censorship, we had a censored version in 2014, when Leela Sampson was the censor chief. So we were a bit... We were actually... We had a longer cut, which we wanted to release in India. Uh, but because of the Urta Punjab controversy and many other films that have unfortunately um, and I think for very ridiculous reasons been stuck in the censors, we have decided to release the international version um, because we actually didn't want any controversy and we didn't want to take the risk. So the version of our censor was the version, international version released Bogi, uh, for the Indian audience. <laughs> हाँ नहीं देखिए ये basically इस फिल्म में हमने आज के युवाओं में जो वो बदलाव की मानसिकता है और चाह है basically पूरे इंडिया में एक नया जेनरेशन है 
और चार विद्यार्थियों के माध्यम से हमने ये बदलाव की मानसिकता को समझने का एक छोटा सा प्रयास किया है सो बेसिकली आई थिंक इट्स अ वेरी रिलेटेबल फिल्म ये अर्बन यूथ के लिए फिल्म है बट आई थिंक इट्स अ फिल्म दैट विल रेजनेट विथ ऑल द यंग पीपल ऑफ इंडिया और आई मीन इवन इन द फिल्म फेस्टिवल्स इतना अमेजिंग रिस्पॉन्स मिला है हमें एंड ऑल द यूथ हैव सीन इट हैव रियली आई मीन इट्स रियली कनेक्टेड विद दैट सो रिस्की फिल्म है बोल्ड फिल्म है रेडिकल फिल्म है पर आई थिंक दिस इज दिस इज अ फिल्म दैट कैन रियली रियली रीडिफाइन इंडियन सिनेमा होपफुली हाँ एक्चुअली ये सैली कॉन्ट्रोवर्शल बात है सैली कॉन्ट्रोवर्शल बात है पर बेसिकली इस फिल्म में हमने वो ड्रग्स और ड्रग्स का कल्चर को एक्सप्लोर किया है तो रिहर्सल्स में आई वी एक्चुअली बैरिज ऑन स्टूडियो रिहर्सिंग एंड वन ऑफ द एक्टर्स हैड रिक्वेस्टेड एल एस डी विच इज़ वन ऑफ द ड्रग्स क्योंकि हमारे फिल्म में एक सीक्वेंस है एसिड ट्रिप की सीक्वेंस है तो वन ऑफ द एक्टर्स ने रिक्वेस्ट किया था जस्ट टू एक्चुअली गेट इन टू द फ्रेम एंड द कैरेक्टर But uh, I think it was a bit too much. So I mean, uh, I think uh, I I mean we figured a way around it. But uh, I mean, hats off to the actors because I think uh, if you look at this film, the sex scenes and the the drugs and everything, it's a very radical film. But I think it's not a sensationalist film. Just in Bollywood, me, kafi sensationalism be be here unfortunately, and the story takes a back seat. In our case, the story is very much at the front and the center of the film. So do we see you directing a Bollywood movie sometimes? Absolutely. Uh, just to make it clear that. Um, आज के ज़माने में आई थिंक दैट जो बॉलीवुड है वो इंडिपेंडेंट फिल्म है आई थिंक द डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन दोज टू इज ब्लरिंग आई थिंक दैट बॉलीवुड में भी बहुत ही आई थिंक रेडिकल ब्रेव और चैलेंजिंग फिल्म बन रही है आजकल एंड या आई थिंक दीज लाइन्स बिटवीन इंडिपेंडेंट आई थिंक द लाइन्स बिटवीन इंडिपेंडेंट एंड बॉलीवुड आर ब्लरिंग सो आई एम एक्चुअली वेरी एक्साइटेड बाई वर्किंग बॉलीवुड एंड आई थिंक इन द फ्यूचर आई थिंक इंडियन सिनेमा इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एक्साइटिंग सिनेमाज टूडे Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Ha. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, so I think uh, I mean the casting was great because um, I think Imad is anyway an actor who has um, I mean he's a history of taking very unconventional roles. Uh, he's um, He's a very brave actor, and he also belongs to a rich tra tradition. Both his parents are very fine actors, and um, yeah. So I think that um, this is a culture they're all familiar with, because if you look at the youth of India today, um, everyone is actually experimenting with drugs like marijuana. And just uh, a look, I mean, a lot of people are saying that uh, this film is pro-drugs. I just want to confirm, it's not a pro-drugs film. It's not an anti-drugs film, but it's a neutral stand, because Hamari uh, film me actually we have explored uh, marijuana and cannabis. Just as some other films have taken harder drugs, uh, which are negative, but um, in our in our film we actually um, are looking at marijuana, which is actually uh, not even a drug; it's a herb. And uh, so, from that point of view, I think that we do hope it will open a debate and a discussion on this. Yeah. Thank you. अगले चाहते थे कि थोड़ा सा रॉक का मिक्सचर हो एंड सम लाइक फोक म्यूजिक एंड सम हिमाचली म्यूजिक सो इट्स गॉट अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट वर्क वेल विद द फिल्म या आई मीन देयर इज आई थिंक देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ फोक इन्फ्लुएंस एंड वी ट्राई टू लुक एट सम ऑफ द हिमाचली स्टफ लुकिंग एट वेयर द फिल्म इज शॉर्ट एंड या आई मीन we try to make it as indie and folky keeping in with the theme of the film yeah. and that's a big 60s vibe like 60s hippie counter culture vibe you know thing yeah yeah and i think we did a good job gana chahiye gana chahiye mostly mostly instrumental and chung chung I think we listen to everything, anything and everything. We yeah. listen to a lot of uh, metal and indie music and future electronic music. Future bass. Future, future bass. Future bass. Yeah. Future bass. I like hip hop music, the uh, rap music. I'm kind of like a slut in the middle. I listen to everything. So yeah. Can you tell me about your favorite song? Is it the rage? People are loving that song. Can you tell us something about that song? Yeah. 
Yeah, um, ji, we are lucky enough to be working with her. She is an amazing woman and she agreed to do the song in this. And she doesn't usually do film music as such. She hasn't shot for a film in a long time. And thankfully, I don't know, thank whoever it is, but yeah. she did. And she came down and did some amazing stuff. Yeah, she, she did so much. And, so and she did, I think, uh, this song in maybe two hours or something. Like Not even two hours, like man. Hour. She came and she just did one thing. And I think when we were writing the song, we felt it has to be her and yeah. her only like there was nobody else who could sing it and she came on one hour we had like five or six pieces we could choose from yeah right? and she and we are really lucky to be working with a woman like that she is amazing oh are you kidding me yeah, yeah. डायरेक्शन If leave, like leaving us to our devices, we might have gotten slightly heavier, but I think it yeah. was great. Yeah, we did a good job. Yeah, we, we really had to focus the whole thing. And yeah, we did a great job, I think. Yeah. Can you sing one line? Wow. See, Jin's a singer. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're the singer, bro. Do it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sing. Which song? Let's which which one do you want? What do you want to sing? Whichever one. Open in that. Let's do na 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 na. Do it. Sorry, yeah, but to me, no. I don't think we can sing honestly. Yeah, we we like a little. Uh, I'm still doing it. Yeah. One line. One line. One line. Go for it. Go for it. Da. Bas chahe ye dua. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. 